Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace, Deputy Governor of the Eastern Province in Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Ahmed bin Fahad bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Deputy Governor of the Eastern Province conveyed the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and their wishes for the progress and prosperity of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty then requested the Deputy Governor to convey his greetings to the Saudi monarch and the Crown Prince for his further wishes of progress and prosperity to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. His Majesty the King praised the deep-rooted bilateral relations and healed the cooperation and coordination level reached between the two countries in all fields. He praised the role of Saudi Arabia in facilitating the movement of the citizens of the two countries through the King Fahad Causeway. His Majesty also expressed appreciation to the firm stances of the custodian of the two holy mosques towards Bahrain and its efforts in enhancing bilateral cooperation. He praised the pioneering role of Saudi Arabia in enhancing GCC, Arab and Islamic joint action and their efforts in defending Arab issues, as well as maintaining security and the stability of the region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gadebia Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. And they both affirmed that the initiatives of the government will continue to enhance its services through collective efforts, development and innovation. They added that the working government is continuing to develop non-oil revenues through the development of vital economic sectors. The Royal Highnesses praised the growth of the non-oil sectors and said that the events held in Bahrain support the government directives to achieve further progress in tourism, cultural, commercial, industrial and sports fields. They also praised the success and the huge participation in the regional and international events hosted in the Kingdom, which enhanced the status of the country. The Royal Highnesses then stressed the importance of optimal recruitment of modern information technologies, especially in means of communication, and using it for the purpose of upgrading services and their quality.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly Cabinet meeting. The Cabinet extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of the 17th anniversary of the National Charter, affirming that the National Charter paved the way to a new phase of democracy national action and contributed to the development of the Kingdom. The Cabinet noted the National Charter's role in enhancing political participation in making national decisions, highlighting the national unity evident in the voting, in building on previous achievements and gains. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to hold specialised exhibitions that promote Bahraini industrial products and market them on the regional and international levels, as well as to attract more industrial investments to the Kingdom. He also commended the success of the Gulf Industry Fair 2018, which was held recently under His Royal Highness's patronage, highlighting its role in supporting the government's approach in this field. His Royal Highness also directed to study the establishment of a new health centre in Badea and assigned the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning to allocate a location for the project. His Royal Highness followed up on the implementation of Mohammed bin Khalifa Specialist Cardiac Centre in Awali. He also commended the efforts of the Coordination Committee, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, in transferring the examination of expatriate workers to the private sectors. The Cabinet re reviewed the results of this initiative, which proved its effectiveness in speeding up procedures for examining expatriate workers, reducing the waiting period from three months to less than one week, and reducing the time of issuing medical reports from one month to one week only. 33,000 medical examinations were completed by the private sector in accordance with the new system since its establishment on the 19th of November 2017. The Cabinet also reviewed the events and festivals to be held in the Kingdom during the first half of 2018. It commended the variety of the projects, which reflects the success of the Government's approach in diversifying the sources of income. It also welcomed the wide participation in Bahrain Shopping Festival, Shop Bahrain, which attracted more audience and revenue compared to last year. The Cabinet commended and valued the role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in serving the Islamic and Arab worlds and facilitating the procedures for pilgrimage. The Cabinet discussed the issue of incriminating any images or videos that violate the privacy of individuals through the misuse of social media or other public means. The Cabinet approved the renewal of a new directorate in the Transportation and Communication Ministry under the Minister, which is the Directorate of Strategic Planning and Projects, that specialises in implementing the comprehensive quality management system for the Ministry's departments and ensuring compliance with all requirements of this system. The Cabinet approved an agreement between the Bahraini and UAE governments regarding air services between the territories and beyond, and appointed the Minister concerned to the final signature. The Cabinet approved five proposals presented by the Council for Representatives on investments in the medical field, circulating courses in first aid and home and occupational safety to government employees, kidney transplant strategy for kidney failure patients, the use of text messages as a reminder of some government services, and on parking in the King Hamad University Hospital. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Chairman of the Bahrain Basketball Association, BBA, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the result of the draw of the Khalifa bin Salman Basketball Championship and the announcement of the start of the second season that will increase competition and attract larger audience. His Royal Highness praised the organising of the championship and said it would increase the chance of the Kingdom to host more regional and international events. He expressed confidence in the abilities of the youth. He praised the effort of Bahrain Basketball Association to develop basketball and enhance the players' capabilities to achieve further progress on the regional and international levels. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable of thanks from the Chairman of Bahrain Basketball Association, the BBA. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressing appreciation to His Royal Highness's congratulatory cable on the occasion of the National Basket Junior Team's victory in the GCC Championship. 
He praised the support of His Royal Highness and affirmed keenness to make further achievements that will enhance the status of the Kingdom internationally. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the continuous support he received since he assumed the responsibility of chairing the Bahrain Basketball Association, in which it enhanced the team's ability to compete on the regional and international levels. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa then conveyed the deep appreciation of the team members for the care and support they received, in which it motivated them to make various achievements. He affirmed keenness to exert more efforts to achieve more progress in the basketball sport and strengthen the status of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today in Rifa the Deputy Governor of the Eastern Province in Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness Prince Ahmed bin Fahad bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, who conveyed the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and the wishes of progress and prosperity to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed that the connection between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia is eternal, noting the development and progress in Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques and the support of the Saudi Crown Prince. He emphasised the keenness of the Kingdom to enhance cooperation and bilateral and Gulf coordination with Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness recalled the role and efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques in maintaining security and stability in the region stressing that his efforts are appreciated and are a source of pride. His Royal Highness urged the Deputy Governor to convey his greetings to the Saudi monarch and the Crown Prince and his wishes of further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The Deputy Governor expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness on bolstering bilateral relations.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Kadabia Palace the Minister of Health Fikir bin Said Al Saleh who introduced to His Royal Highness the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Health and the Assistant Under Secretaries and Managers appointed at the Ministry. His Royal Highness congratulated them on their appointments, wishing them success in their duties. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government spares no effort in developing the health sector in various areas of the Kingdom and in providing all the requirements that ensure it keeps track with the global health systems. He added that the health sector is one of the most important sectors that witnesses a remarkable development which comes to provide an outstanding health service to all citizens and residents in the Kingdom, affirming that Bahrain is keen on meeting the standards set by the World Health Organization. The Prime Minister hailed the cadres working in the health sector and the services they provide to patients, asserting the government's keenness on developing cadres and medical expertise through training programmes. His Royal Highness affirmed the government's support to the health sector and providing it with highly qualified medical cadres, expressing pride in Bahraini competencies in the health sector. For her part, the Minister of Health expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support in the health sector, commending His Royal Highness's follow-up to provide the best health services and his directives to develop them and provide all medical requirements. The Ministry's officials expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's support to Bahraini competencies. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Bahraini people on the 17th anniversary of the National Action Charter, which is unanimously agreed upon by the Bahraini people. In a statement, His Highness said that the anniversary of the National Action Charter is a national and historical occasion and a reflection of the national integration, whose foundations were laid by His Majesty the King by his reform project, at the global level, enabling Bahrain to reach the level of democratic countries. His Highness added that this unanimous vote represents the cohesion between the leadership and the people to develop Bahrain at the level of state institutions, law, democratic work, social, political and economic justice. His Highness also added that the vote made Bahrain a historic turning point that led the leadership and the people to make achievements in various fields, which was inspired by the vision of His Majesty the King and his determination to develop Bahrain. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, his Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander on Bahrain's winning of the top title at the Arab Ladies Clubs Championship held in Sharjah, UAE, after winning 12 gold medals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the achievement of the Bahraini clubs is a clear result of the great support of the wise leadership to the youth and sports movement in the Kingdom. His Highness underlined the excellent performance of the Bahraini's ladies clubs in the championship, which confirmed the great skills to compete in various sports tournaments. He said that the Bahraini ladies have a high degree of responsibility to put the Kingdom of Bahrain first in the overall ranking of the tournament, noting the progress of a ladies sport in the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the role of the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports in supporting the national clubs, participating in the tournament and its keenness to create an appropriate atmosphere for them to achieve such a large number of medals. He also praised the role of Sheikh Ahayat bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa in this regard. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, invited the Kingdom's ministries, establishments and private sector NGOs, national clubs and youth centres to participate in the National Sports Day by organising various sports events that contribute to make sports a lifestyle for citizens and residents. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that Sports Day is a national event that promotes many noble goals, which enhances the national identity. His Highness added that Bahrain offers many important initiatives in fields of sport and public health, making sports a daily lifestyle for the citizens and residents. 
Under the patronage of the President of Bahrain Basketball Association, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, an extraordinary ceremony was held on the occasion of the Khalifa bin Salman Basketball Cup for Men. Present were the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mutawa, Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Al Jaida, Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Aska, and dignitaries. The celebration was held at the Zain Bahrain Hall in Umar Hassan in the presence of a number of invited guests and the event included various photographs displayed by the organising committee. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa gave a speech in which he praised the generous patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to the sports movement in Bahrain. He said that Khalifa bin Salman Cup last season was the most prominent event in the history of basketball in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa expressed his pride in the achievements of the tournament and added to the many gains of the game. He appreciated the contribution of the national companies in supporting the Khalifa bin Salman Cup and the activities of the Bahrain Basketball Association, pointing out that this contribution constitutes a high national partnership. The draw resulted in the following. The first groups included teams of Manama, Bahrain, Rifa, Najma, Nuidrat and Hid. In the second group included Alali, Aletihad, Isa Town, Sitra, Maharek and Samajij. نحو النجوم تطلعاتك والرؤى فأنت عنوان العزيمة والسلام وأنت رمز للمفاخر والبنى وأنت يا بحريننا بلد العطاء وطن يعانق في بطولته السماء أرض الحضارات بحرين آلاف السنين لها شهود يا زهرة للأميات وللخلود يترنب التاريخ في صفحاتك ويغني الحاضر بحب وولاء ويسابق المستقبل يمضي نحو العلا شعب عظيم يستمد من قيادته الحب والانتماء الحب والانتماء يسطر التاريخ بحروف من ذهب اسم مضيء شامخ يعانق النجوم يسابق الزمن صرح عظيم سيرة صرح عظيم سيرة يا ذخرنا أميرنا خليفة بن سلمان دمت يا مجد الوطن سيرته وعيونه دم خليفة بن سلمان اسم ينحني لرجاع شامخ كما هيبة وطن والطيبة تعمه همه تكون بلاده في غير وفي أجمل حال وبلاده تفخر فيه وتمار الملا باسمه
وفقنا الله جميعا لما يحبه ويرضاه لخدمة هذا البلد تحت قيادة ملكنا حفظ الله ورعاه ودائما إن شاء الله منصورين وموفقين في كل ما نقوم به من أعمال لرفعة وسمعة هذا البلد وشعبه فشكرا يا أخوة. والد العزيز الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر الله يحفظه ويطول عمره على رعايته لمسابقة الكاس في اتحاد كرة السلة وبلا شك أن دعم سموه لمسابقة الكاس يعطينا المزيد من الدافع والسند والعون فله منا مزيد من الشكر والتقدير على هذه الرعاية The Minister of Internal Affairs, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received today Deputy Governor of the Eastern Province in Saudi Arabia, His Royal Highness Prince Ahmed bin Fahad bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in the presence of a number of senior officials. The Interior Minister praised these kinds of visits and stressed the role in enhancing bilateral brotherly ties under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. He praised the keenness of both countries to strengthen security cooperation and unify stances against current and future challenges. He hailed the firm stances of Saudi Arabia towards the Kingdom. Customs President and King Fahad Causeway General Organization Deputy Chairman Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamid Al Khalifa delivered a brief on the plans, projects and studies of the stages of implementation of the development project that aimed to increase the capacity and facilitate the procedures on the causeway efforts to raise levels of performance, facilitate the movement of people and transport of goods, which is the main artery connecting the two brotherly countries. The meeting also included a number of topics of mutual concern.
The Ambassador of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Faz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, hosted a seminar at his residence to shed light on the recent enactment of the expanded scope of the Alternative Sentences Law in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The seminar began with opening remarks from the General Coordinator for Media and Communications at the office of the First Deputy Prime Minister, Yara Faraj. Ms Faraj gave an introduction about the Government Priorities Framework and the Action Plan for 2015 to 2018, which reflects the Government of Bahrain's strategic priorities over that period and focuses on delivering reforms and sustainable change. Ms Faraj highlighted that legal and legislative reforms are part of the plan. Brother Mohammed from the Ministry of Interior highlighted the national effort that took place to bring the Alternative Sanctions and Measures Law into effect. The effort led to the establishment of a national committee that brought together relevant stakeholders such as the Ministry of Justice, the Ministry of Interior, the Judiciary and the Public Prosecution among institutions involved in criminal justice and rehabilitation. Better also added that the bill was debated and discussed in both Houses of Parliament and became law in July of last year. The law significantly expands the scope of the application of alternative sentences with focus on effective rehabilitation and reduction in reoffending rates through purposeful programmes that involve community service, training, pre-release programmes and others. The event was attended by Mr Hibsal Singh from Her Majesty's Inspectorate of Prisoners, the HMIP, Professor Dennis Samud from Oxford University, Mr William Morris, Chairman of the New Century Foundation, diplomats and Bahrainis in the UK studying law and criminal justice. I'm really encouraged by this alternative sentencing in Bahrain because it's something we're looking for for the whole world. I mean, the whole world should be going down this road. And to see Bahrain at the cutting edge of this new program is really exciting. It's really exciting because we need it, I think, especially for the young people. I mean, young people can get into trouble, do get into trouble, and it's not appropriate when they get really deep into the criminal justice system, get in jail, then, then not only does it depress them, but it, 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 it causes really... A, a, a people are, people are, the youngsters can so easily get into a life of crime, which is, is difficult. Um, but if alternative sentencing is brought in, then it makes a huge difference. And uh, really keeping youngsters out of jail, it has to be our prime objective everywhere in the world. And to see Bahrain doing this is... Today was such a great event because it brought people with different perspectives and different experiences together on the issue of prisons and alternative um, to imprisonment. And the idea of imprisonment and prisons is a controversial and debatable issue worldwide. And to have the chance to bring, to bring together different views allows each country to um, progress its prison system and in that sense improve the conditions of both prisons and the lives of society and those that um, are in the situation. As part of the efforts to facilitate trade movement and develop national economy, Customs Affairs allocate a fast lane for export trucks that guarantees a swift crossing to the destination country. Customs Affairs is working on updating customs system and procedures continuously in line with global changes. Based on the continuous cooperation and coordination with the customs of Saudi Arabia, the fast lane has been open to complete all customs procedures for the export of the top 10 national commodity companies in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia. The fast lane represents one of the methods of facilitating commerce as trucks would cross to the destination country swiftly and easily. Upon the directives of their majesties and their highnesses, the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, during last year's GCC summit to facilitate two-way trade between GCC countries, the fast lane for trucks had been opened on the King Fahad Causeway between the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Kingdom of Bahrain as the first exit in the GCC countries to open the lane. The fast lane is dedicated to the top 10 exporters in each country and it is operated using the pre-clearance system so as to complete all customs data prior to the truck's arrival. The lane had been open at the beginning of last December for a trial for the first company that had been qualified for it in Bahrain which is Salb Company and Nada Dairy Company from Saudi Arabia. 
The trial revealed that the company's crossing period had decreased from 12 hours to 20 to 120 minutes, which is a record crossing time in comparison to that of world exits. The joint developmental work between the two countries continues through King Fahad Causeway to improve all customs procedures and reduce traffic congestions. As part of Discover America Week 2018, the American Embassy, in collaboration with the American Chamber of Commerce and Industry, conducted a seminar on how to do business in the United States. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. The relationship between Bahrain and the United States runs strong and deep and manifests itself in many categories, especially business. Shining the spotlight on the powerful commercial ties between the two nations, a seminar was conducted today at Bahrain Institute for Business and Finance on how to do business in the United States to promote multiple areas of partnership and investment. We talked really about the mechanisms that are available, some public information websites where businesses and investors can get the information they need about investing in America and how, it, how it's done to so help demystify the process to make it easier. The Bahrain-U.S. Free Trade Agreement is a symbol of the strong economic bond since the FTA's entry into force two-way trade has more than doubled with both Bahraini and U.S. exporters benefiting greatly. The last figures that we have show that $1.7 billion were traded between Bahrain and the United States in 2016. And of that, $768 million was, were products from Bahrain to the United States. And the top three products that Bahrain sold were uh, aluminum products, textile products, and apparel products. We have a product of a quality uh, and a caliber of human element of quality. And I'm proud to say that the Bahraini are have the caliber to compete on international footing very successfully. The seminar helped investors to understand how to take advantage of the agreement, understand the procedures and requirements of investment in the U.S., providing them with a great platform to understand how businesses of different scales are being conducted now between the two countries and discover new investment and partnership opportunities. We have a great treaty with Bahrainis, Bahrainis in the, uh, the country and we have several different opportunities for uh, different investor visas. So you can go and, and immigrate and be part of the investment community and the business community there. So I talked about tonight three different types of visas that are commonly used for investing in America. The power of the Bahrain-U.S. trade partnership is vastly growing in a variety of fields in line with the development visions adopted by both countries. Great discussions are conducted here about how to start businesses of different scales in the United States and boost investment and partnership. Reporting from Bahrain International, I'm Abdul Ghafoor.